nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. <coughs> Sume glorioso Deus, illumina tenebras cordis mehi, et da mihi fidem rectum, spem certum et caritatem perfectum, domini ut facium tum sanctum et verax mandatum. Amen. Hey, friends. Um, I thought I would... <coughs> <laughs> we have a lot of drizzle and rain and pollen-y things happening out there today. Sorry. Um, I thought I'd open straight away with prayer today, especially St. Francis's prayer uh, for wisdom and um, true knowledge, faith, and courage, and all those things, his prayer before the cross, uh, because we had such a hard teaching on Monday. We're looking at Matthew 19, 5 through 8, and it's the one about divorce, right? <laughs> And so many, so many kinds of divorce. There's divorcing from reality, divorcing from the church, from mother church. There is divorcing from original rule in the secular Franciscan order. So we looked at many layers of that and kind of want to know what you've been doing this week. Have you so far, maybe you felt the need to do something really special for your spouse and focus on your relationship with your spouse. Maybe you've decided to look more into the Catholic Church or to go more deeply in your faith. Hey friends, if you want to know what the Catholic Church believes, there's plenty of catechism books for every level of person. Um, you know, we have the Catechism of the Council of Trent, we have the Modern Catechism, there's some that are study lessons. This is a picture book here. Um, can't go wrong with the... Um, Baltimore Catechism. I can't go wrong with the Baltimore Catechism. So, so many great books that you can go and study. I think there's even the Catechism of St. Pius X back there, which is nice and short. Some are question and answers. Some, again, have more pictures. Some that the um, Baltimore Catechism, there's different versions with more and less pictures and things. I do, I think, prefer the TAN version there. Um, I am an affiliate of TAN, but I always forget to put the link, but I'll let you know. I am an affiliate of TAN. I, I was recommending those before. <laughs> so um, just letting you know that. So what have what have you been discerning? What have you been doing? Have you maybe gone to adoration just to spend time with the divine spouse in the Eucharist? I don't know. Is your heart still a heart of stone or is it breaking a little bit for that sacred, that tender heart of Jesus that is on fire with love for us? For us, for you, and for me, for the church as a whole. I don't know what you've been doing this week. Um, I pray that it's been very God-filled, <laughs> that it's been very fruitful, that's really turning your heart back to God. So let's let's read this again, see where we are, and maybe some things, uh, maybe we didn't do it perfectly. This is kind of like our examine. <laughs> maybe we didn't do it perfectly. We can try again. Um, again, if you need help, reach out to a spiritual director or a holy friend. Reach out to the priest. And if this is something that you have struggled with, reach out to the priest in confession. Can't recommend enough having a regular confessor. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be in one flesh. Therefore now they are not two, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. They said to him, Why then did Moses command to give a bill of divorce and to put away? He said to them, Because Moses, by reason of the hardness of your heart, permitted you to put away your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. What have you put away in your life? What have you divorced yourself from and put away, friends? For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be in one flesh. Therefore now they are not two, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. They say to him, Why then did Moses command to give a bill of divorce and to put away? He said to them, Because Moses, by reason of the hardness of your heart, permitted you to put away your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. Take some time, friends, to reflect on what that beginning looked like in your life. 
what that looked like in the life of the church, what that looked like in the very beginning. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be in one flesh. Therefore now they are not two, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. They say to him, Why then did Moses command to give a bill of divorce, and to put away? He said to them, Because Moses, by the reason of the hardness of your heart, permitted you to put away your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. Friends, let's look back for a second at um, St. Clair's method of gazing at Christ. <clears throat> this is mostly... <clears throat> This is mostly Christ Jesus speaking in this passage. But where is he in this passage? It's describing him, isn't it? Hmm. How is he described in this passage? And how are you reflecting that back to the world. One last time. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be in one flesh. Therefore now they are not two, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. They say to him, Why then did Moses command to give a bill of divorce and to put away? He said to them, because Moses, by reason of the hardness of your heart, permitted you to put away your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. Friends, mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> let us always end with the blessing of Brother Leo. Benedicat tibi dominus et custodiat te, ostendat dominus facium sum tibi, et miserator tui, convertet dominus vultum sum ad te, et dominus bonus det tibi pacem. In nomine patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen, friends.